Well it's Tuesday the 7th of January and it's hard to believe that in a week's time we're going to be in Belize when you look at the state of the boat. This is pretty typical last minute rush, many jobs, many unfinished loose ends but we're getting there and I'm pretty confident we'll be in the water in a few days. Uh, we've got some lovely working conditions at the moment, northerly from uh, the US, thank you very much. So nice and cool outside, good for painting, as long as the rain stays away. That northerly incidentally would be no good for our trip up to Belize right now anyway, so that wind is going to swing to the east on the weekend. So jobs that are going on in the yard at the moment, I've uh, shanghaied a friend of mine's uh, helper, Alexander, sorry Victor, uh, Victor's gone back to Russia, his friend Alexander's here in the yard looking for a bit of work, so uh, I've employed him to do the rubbing strakes, the lashing strakes, uh, put the stain on those, it's an oil stain which will nourish the wood. We do that every six months or so and also he's going to help with the polishing of the top sides and the 400 sanding of the copper coat which is something it's a ritual we do four days before or within four days of launching the boat uh, before that copper goes back in the water it activates the copper gets a nice fresh surface of metal there there's a sponge in here sponge yeah soft sponge yeah. but a whole sheet of 400 and then <laughs> taped to the back of it i see yeah yeah, yeah. It's just very but easy. it's uh, quick, yeah? Okay, good, good, lovely. Yeah. That's very easy. Yes. So you're using a garden sprayer, yeah? Yeah. Other jobs that are underway, I've got the deck boards off the boat at the moment. These are the side decks you can see behind me. They were looking a little bit tatty uh, at the end of last season. Uh, dings and chips and so forth. They needed a good repaint so that's what I'm doing at the moment. The next step today is to mask up around the areas where the non-skid will be applied. I'll show you the product. It's by Plascon. It's called Grip Additive. It's one of those ones that you mix in with the paint and then apply it over the areas you want and it's very good. In fact, a lot of folks who come on board Lucky Fish uh, comment on the non-skid. I think Dan made a really good choice with this stuff. It's not too sharp and it's not too slippery either. It's the perfect blend. Also got the Yamaha guys coming back this morning. I didn't have time to service the engines myself, so they're going to change the engine oil, change the gear oil, uh, replace the water pump impellers, and run them and check that reverse gear in this right hand one under load. We'll see if it's going to stay in, get the definitive answer on that one. Tu nombre? Hugo. Hugo. Hugo Mejia. Hugo Mejia. Nice to meet you, Hugo. Mm. Yeah, this oil is... Uh, dark <laughs> it looks used well used and it's old luckily these guys have everything we need so we've had pretty good luck finding this yamaha dealer so close by and they look to be very well stocked reasonably priced and uh, punctual too you know they come in when they say they're going to do it Yeah, 
Do they chuck well? We then ran the engines in a 44 gallon drum of water to test the gears under load and everything checked out okay. That's my crazy Russian Alex talking to Victor, I think, having a good old argument in Russian. I love it. God knows what they're saying, but it just sounds like they're arguing to me. <laughs> they're probably talking about the time of day, who knows. The surveyor told me that one of the most common areas for rot in Warrams is the keel due to poor blocking when on the hard stand. Pay careful attention to spreading the load over a wide area like this. Work has been going on a lot slower than I expected. Rain delays and not having Zaya available to push things along hasn't helped. Hello. Hello Leo, are you a little bit sad, a little bit unhappy? Well you didn't get enough sleep did you? So I think Mummy's going to do something about it. Leah, do you want to be a little baby? Do you want to be a little baby? It's the little baby. Baby Jack, little baby. It's amazing you've kept this going, honey, because, you know, I honestly, up until, when did you start doing this again with him? <laughs> and discovering that he likes it so much, yeah. you know? Yeah, look at this tiny little baby. Then I do let him watch himself in the mirror. Okay. That's our routine. Uh-huh. So we go here. Yeah. Then Wow, who is that? <laughs> you look like a nun. <laughs> Do you like it, Leo? Is it nice? Next is... I don't let him watch this picture and... Uh -huh. Two minutes he will fall asleep. I think we'll leave them to it for a few minutes and when he's down I'll take you back in there. Alex turned up one day and reminded me of the amazing country we were in. <laughs> what have you got there, Alex? Holy dolly. That is the biggest beetle I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you say you got hit by a car. <laughs> oh, it's a very tasty, it's oh, a very yeah. tasty thing. <laughs> a bit of roadkill, you reckon? <laughs> Straight, that's big. They say the insects here in Guatemala are huge. The moths, the butterflies, yeah. all the different... You know, I, I saw four animals 
uh, a normal uh, size. Let's have a look at the underside of him. Hold up the bottom. Yeah. Yes. All right, I wouldn't want to mess with him in my sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Finally, we finished the painting and the covers came off. Nice. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> Let the sun shine. Marta and Arung were two great helpers and Marta had no worries about going up the masts to give them a wash. That was a highly successful trip to uh, Front Terrace. Three hours before launching right at the moment and uh, last minute jobs. Just replacing a through hole fitting, it's the sink drain in the galley. Uh, I put a wooden plug in it last year to keep the insects out. But of course the moisture made the wood swell and I couldn't get it out. And then I damaged the seal against the hull, not a good thing. So I thought I'd take it out and, uh, and replace it. So I've just been into, this plastic only lasts so long of course, it's about six years old and showing signs of UV deterioration. So in Dismar I found another one, 76 foot Zales, which is about nine bucks, not too bad. Now it's back to Ram Marina, back to the boat. The guys are polishing the hull at the moment. Right on top of the bridge at Rio, beautiful and hoping to go live. I just um, went into the Tigo shop, the local mobile airtime supplier, and got uh, 10 gigabyte worth of data. That might be up to an hour of YouTube live time. I have no idea. It's about 30 bucks or so. So hopefully we'll be talking to you guys this afternoon, and uh, we really hope you can join us. If you missed the live video of the launching last weekend, you can watch the recording here. Thanks to all of you viewers who joined in, came on the river cruise with us, and celebrated this fun day. Today we're going to help Daddy, right? by lashing these new hinges. These hinges are pretty good. The, the previous one lasted, like what, five years, six years? We just painted, so now we need a new one. So we need each side, six hinges needs to be done. So total 12, four of them done in the black, but we ran out of black. But we couldn't find the black one in Guatemala, so here's the white one I'm going to use. So it is pretty easy. You start with the one, one end. Hello. What's up, Leah? Well, I had to redo it again because I made a mistake. I lashed it in what, when it was closed, then it wouldn't open, you know, it was too tight. So this time I did it when it was open like that and tightened it very good and it works now. Next week we'll continue vlogging in real time as we welcome the first of the Lucky Fish Syndicate owners, who arrives today, the 17th of January, and we head off sailing for Belize. Lucky Fish could really use your support in making these videos. If you can spare a couple of dollars a month, you can help keep them coming. It's easy to sign into Patreon, and it makes you feel good too. Thanks all, and as always, a special thanks to our patrons. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and thank you for watching.